Hi folks and uh, welcome back. We're uh, we're gonna. I've decided that I'm gonna uh, restring the radio first. I may as well do the restringing. That's the easy bit. I've done these capacitors here. They're okay. Uh, we're all right with those now. So let's see about restringing this damn thing. made the string a little bit longer than what I need Let's just clean this off at the back here that's crap Looks like somebody's put something round that here now. To try and tighten the fucking string. Looks like self amalgamating tape. This has been really messed with. Anyway, that's I might have to get the stringing diagram, but we'll see. I don't know how many times it goes around the tuner, that's the thing, around the tuning control. Don't even know if this is fucking long enough, this string. It should be. It doesn't matter if it's not. Got some more. Uh, that ain't gonna be long enough. Because the original was too fucking short, it has to go around the tuning. Right. Just go around the tuner and come up here. So that ain't gonna be fucking long enough, I don't think. Let's find out. So it's usually twice around the tuner. So that's what we'll do. That's fucking long enough. Oops, get it off that bracket. And that's come off there, which is not what I wanted. I might have to fucking cut another piece of string, at least I've got another piece. through and it might just be long enough uh, get on to that pulley pull see it's pulled off there it's a nuisance You know, there's only so much time I'll spend to it doing this before I fucking lose my temper and give up. <coughs> Get in. That's in. I think I've done it 
too short anyway. Fuck's sake, why can't they put a ridge on both sides? Right, that's there, and that's nowhere gonna go. No, it's too short. It's too short. It's too short. So, what I'll have to do, uh, yeah, it's definitely too short. I don't mind the cutting the same length as the original, only a bit longer. So I won't go off the original this time. Uh, so it takes a lot of fucking string. What I'm going to do this time is going to put a loop in the fucking bottom of it. I'll be back when I've untangled this fucking mess. Right, folks, we've. Uh, I forgot to turn the fucking camera back on. So basically it's uh, one uh, twice around the tuning dial, twice around the tuning control and Hook it onto the first pull onto the first lug here. If I can show you, without it all fucking coming off. There we go. Hook it onto the first lug there, and the second lug here is for the spring. So basically, you bring the spring, you put the spring on here, and it will come down here. And that'll, and obviously you you got to tension this up as well. So it's basically a simple, it's basically a real simple string in this. Uh, I just need to see how much I need for me to get to my spring. What I like to do is leave them off, leave leave the leave it off the pulley. And then I can stretch it back on. So get that extra bit of tension on there. And another thing I like to do, watch it all fucking come off now. If I can find it, I like to use a bit of tape. Don't worry about contaminating your fucking string, it'll all wear off. Just put a bit of tape around your drum in certain places. To just stop. Just basically stop your string coming off. Right, and that should be okay. That should be okay. So we want to come to the spring there. So basically, uh, let's get the spring. And this is the critical part. This because you're cutting the fucking dial. You're cutting the fucking dial cord. There's the spring. I was going to put a new one on, but this is bent into shape, and it's still quite good. This spring. There we go. Just want to reshape the end of it a little bit. Just reshape the spring a little bit. so that we clip that sharp bit off there <coughs> and 
to straighten the spring. I think that's just snapped. Yep. So what I'm going to do, clip that there. Without cutting into the spring, just make a new coil on it there, look. Make a new end on it, there we go. Got a new end on it there to feed the dial cable through. So what we'll do next, I want to basically Dial cable. Whoops. See, we've come off, you see, so there we are. Right, so we want to. how long the spring is see that might not even be the right spring so I want to feed the spring through now you can tie it on and the good thing about doing it here is wires come off again there we go the good thing about doing it doing it here is I can put one knot in it too long that's too long so I need to shorten it so I need to oh, there's a very good reason why people don't like stringing fucking radios Ring and that's fucking wrong. What I'm gonna do so I'm not fucking pulling all this string through. I'm gonna make it longer than what I actually need it. So it goes down there. I'm going to clip the fucker here. There we go. That's easily got me enough. Right. And I want 
to t tie this on. That keeps coming off there, it's a nuisance. That is a fucking nuisance keeps coming off at the bottom here. Too long. I think I want it about there. Well, I'm going to put it about there. Right, so I want it about there. So. So let's pull that. Right, we're back on there. Might be a bit long. But we've got to pull back onto that pulley yet as well. So it might be a bit too long, but that's no problem. this onto the pulley see how long we see how too long we are I've got a feeling that's too fucking long still not tight I don't think that's tight enough though we've got to put the pointer in yet see if it moves let's take the tape off actually folks tape off without cutting the fucking string. Uh, I put tape on in two places. I think one place it must have fell off. Oh no it's here. Get this tape off here. There we go. Alright so do we go to the, f the extreme of the capacitor? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Let's put our dial on. Put our dial. Put our pointer on. I might paint the pointer red. It's black, so I might paint it red. And this is going to be a bit of a fucking pain in the ass. Cause it's been crimped. That side's okay. That side up, that side's okay, it's just the middle. Try to get this fucking string off. I know you can't see what I'm doing here, folks, but you don't really need to. I'm just pulling fucking string. And I've bent the dial, I've bent the pointer, but that's no problem, just bend that back into position. There we go. And what they've actually done here, they've actually crimped the fucking thing. Let me ask you something folks, have you ever heard of a place called Dunstable? Well that's where the person who fucking restrung this in the first place fucking came from. 
They put they put fucking self amalgamating tape around the fucking shaft. Uh, let's straighten that because we don't want that fucking. They put self amalgamating self amalgamating tape around it. I mean, this is a bit slacker than what I would like. I would like it a bit tighter, but it's working, so I'm fucking happy with it. There we are. Now what we do, now, as far as I'm concerned, that's good. Because it's working. So what we need to do is wind the capacitor to this end. Slide our dial along. Just to the end of the window. The dial is a bit bent. Just to the end of the window. There we go. Now let's move it along. And see if it goes to the other end, right to the end of the window on the other side. Yeah, actually. Pardon me. Let's try it to the end. While I do, I'll put some grease and stuff on it to uh, stop that squeaking. But look at that, folks. That is very fluent. Doesn't look like it on the video, but trust me. I think somebody's burning shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. There we go. I mean, I mean, it could have done with being a bit tighter, but, you know. I mean, a bit tighter might have been nice, but it's not slipping on the knob. Yeah, we are at the end, a bit worried there. It's not slipping on the knob, it's not, oh it's slipping now, oh you can't, yeah, but there again, but there again it could be just, uh, it just needs moving up a little bit, but, so if I take that back off there, because that, that is a bit, but there again I've not put the final knot in it yet either, so, if I just get me tape again. I get me tape. Put a bit of tape there. bit of tape there, a bit of tape just under there and that will hold it because I'm going to have to take the spring because I've got to put the final knot in it so it's got to come off. There we go. we are so now I can move it back a bit and put the final knot in it she's 
proceeds to try and to just I'd say about there try and hold the spring out of the way I'd say about there well it better be right because that's where I'm putting the knot so and I did want it a bit tighter as well so right I won't clip that off there yet because I can still undo that if I need to Put that back down there. I'm going to have to turn it round to me a bit so that I can see. What I'm actually doing. This is going to be harder to get on. Because it needs to be that way around so I can hook it in easier. I can't get the little things through that fucking hole and that's the problem. If I could get them through that hole, I'd have it all. But I need, unless I do try and do it this way. I mean it's not really it's not really difficult, it's just awkward. Right. So put that that way. See what I mean? It's come off the top there now, but that's actually no problem. That might make it a bit easier for me. Right. So now, if I just roll the wire back, there we go. Now, there we go. Right. That is tighter, so I'll pull my tape off. And that could do with being, that could do with being tightened up, I don't want it coming loose. What I generally do with them when I find that is I generally put a blob of super glue in there. I mean this one won't come loose, but I'll still put a blob of super glue in. You know. When, uh, when I'm when I'm finished I'll put a blob of super glue in. Just get the tape off. Yeah. Now let's try the tuner. Right, let's come all the way down this end first. There, that's perfect. Yeah, it's not slipping that. get to the end of the gang and we're stretching the spring there now so and basically you have to set these up 
yeah you have to set these up in a way whereas people are not going to be banging down the dial they're going to be turning the tuner slowly you know looking for something they're not going to go down the dial dead fast they're going to be doing that You know, that's how they're going to be doing it. And we're at the end of the dial now. And are we level? Yeah, we're pretty much. I'd say so. Yeah. yeah I'm a bit nervous of that there. Because it doesn't feel like it's going all the way to the end. But it is. It is. It all needs it. We need to put a smear of grease along here after I've cleaned everything. And that's all loose there. So you hear the capacitor go clunk then. Then you can turn that. And it doesn't slip. Seems to get a bit tighter towards the end. Seems to get a bit tighter towards the end, I'm not sure why. Well actually I know why. Because the wires are actually the tuning tuning wires are actually crossing each other right so that's actually crossing each other let's have a look see where we're at there yeah see look it's actually crossing each other there and it shouldn't be so basically So basically this one here needs to be on the other side of that one and that's not a great thing to sort out. Just get our just, just do that by doing that. And now we're on the wrong side there, which means this side here with the spring has to come back off because you've got to have it right it's got to be right as simple as it's no questions about it so what we'll do we'll take the spring back off Or maybe I might not have to. It's hooked over that way. So if I go around like that. Now let's try that. And then. Go over it that way. So that's that one and that's so this one needs to be on the outside which is right all right so let's turn see that's see that one there So th this one here, so this so it needs to be on the other side really. Well, 
least there's one thing, at least I've got it sussed. Ow! Nip myself with the cut with the pliers. There we go. So if I unhook that from there, take that off there, make sure that none of the others fucking uh, get this one from the outside. Get that one there. And that needs to drop down behind that one. That needs to drop behind that one, that's how it goes. And I'll take this one pulley off here because I can lift that back on in a second. Just gives me a bit more freedom. And this one's come off here, we don't want it all coming off. In this round all that all right we're on the wrong side of that oh so we want to be the inside so I need to feed that through but carefully there we go I mean in all honesty folks I could have left it the way it was and the tuner would have worked just fine but If we can have it right, then why not? You know? If we can get it fucking spot on, and as it should be, then why don't we have it, you know, if we're going to have it, have it right. The way I say it, the way I look at things. Well, we've actually got a bit more fucking slack on that now as well. Now, at least I think we have. Don't really want any more slack on it. But still, I'm going to have to turn it around so I can look down here. So I did it before, wasn't it? I mean, that's the spring. Now, if I can just, oh, got it. Mind you, we've got a bit of slack, but well, saying that, we've got to put this back on, just pull it back on, haven't I? There we are. Now that's taking the slack out of it. Now, shall we see how it works this time? We don't want it getting hung up on anything. Perfect. It's fucking perfect. That's exactly right. Do you know something, folks? I couldn't ask for it to be any better if I wanted. 
Yeah. Yeah. So let's take it down slow. I'm happy with that and because I'm happy with it I'm gonna put the glue on it I always put just put a little blob of super glue on where the string where, where the uh, where the where the just where the just where the knots are and it locks the knots in there So what we'll do is put a little bit on there. It's only a little bit. There we go. Oops. Get someone to just wipe that with because we don't want it running onto the pulley. There we go. Mind you, it wouldn't matter if it stuck it to the pulley, it ain't going anywhere. So now if we get the other one, and that spring's just got the right tension on it. Now if I do this this way, whoops, gone a bit far with that, a bit too much. I mean, it'll only run down the fucking spring, but I don't want it causing any problems. It'll only run down the spring, it won't, won't go anywhere where it shouldn't. There we go. And all I do now is wait for it to dry. But do you think this is the end of this radio? No! <laughs> Perfect! Ah, we've got to go out now folks. Got to pop out. Papa, I'm going to do a mate a favour because I said I would, so I'm going to give him a quick ring. Anyway, uh, that's the uh, that's the what do you call it? I've done the I've done the smoothing capacitor capacitors. I've done the smoothing capacitors. I've done the smoothing capacitors and I've done the dial string. So I'm going to call that part one. Well, I may see. Yeah, we'll call the smoothing capacitors and the dial string. We'll call it part one. And but that's how you restring a radio. And remember, I didn't use the manual. I try. I was going to go off uh, Mildred's because uh, it's a very similar chassis made by the same company, but Mildred's is a, a slightly newer radio, and it's. It's strung differently, so I couldn't even go off that. So, just to recap, pardon the pun, just to recap, you put your first, you put your first, your first loop on here, which is what I do, your first loop on here. Take it round the drum. First loop on here. Take it round the drum. Under that first pulley. Up and over. Uh, yeah, through through the bottom pulley. Over through the bottom pulley. Round the bottom pulley. Up and over the top pulley. Up and over the top. Pulley, the second top pulley, 
There's no other pulley, so he comes diagonal straight across here. Twice round the tuning shaft. And... That's it. Twice round the tuning shaft. Round here and to here. Which is where you fit your spring. And that is as simple as that. I mean it sounds a bit grunchy and crunchy and stuff but trust me this is working absolutely spot on the strings are not the strings not lap, overlapping each other like it was a minute ago a couple of plates on this are a bit bent so we'll have to check that out uh, a couple of plates are a bit bent somebody's been at this but uh you know hey we're getting there we've now got a tuning string on it so at least we can tune it so you know just a matter of going through the rest of it now thank you very much for watching folks more to come later bye for now